Greetings and salutations. It's me, your boy, Jelly Belly. And today we're playing some backpack battles. So this is a auto battle. And so we are currently gold 75. And I'm going to start the tutorial on how to shop scan in order to get a great start. So without further ado, let's get into it. So wanting to get an onion, we're going to roll. Pan here is super glorious. And then now what we're going to do is get rid of the sword for two. And then we're going to sell the lucky clover in order to get a four and a buckler. So this allows us to get two food on the pan, putting it in the archer backpack so we do get crits. And then now, since we have a shield and a buckler, we are able to beat our opponent and move in to stage two. Now that we do have a discounted food, we're going to buy it. And then we will save the nanner and then go ahead and keep going. So this is definitely my recommendation is getting an early pan really helps. And then if we're able to get bananas and then roll to victory, we shall be victorious. So one thing that I really love here, and I'm glad that we've gotten it, is the item perks. So a 10% faster on our onion, which gets us more shields and banana. And then as we put more food around, blueberry, super good pick. We're gonna roll for storage space, saving a banana, and then we should be able to complete our pan next turn and then have a wonderful food bank. So this will definitely try to carry early games. And so our pan just goes the distance because we have a buckler. And so buckler absorbs one damage per stack. And it does have a percentage, 35% chance to gain three shield and remove 0.5 stamina from the opponent. So without further ado, let's go ahead and keep buffing here. Mm. Okay, let's do one of those. And then we will look for our next food. I don't think it'll be a banana. Ooh, getting that is huge. That's on sale, so we'd rather want that. And then I'm going to go ahead and start it. We are going against a leveled up Reaper. However, no match for our Buckler Pan. So let us see. We are going to shift this over. Now we are wanting to optimize this in such a way that it goes like that. Getting our discounted potion. I'm one of those that I'm a potion connoisseur. And then Banish of Lamb, we are not punished. Here, even seeing a Ripsaw Blade, we are dropping a potion. It is going to be tight. We do lose, however, we do have five lives, so we do have time to get there. Now, there is an argument to get a second one, just for more critters, and that's what we'll do. Then, what I'm going to do is go ahead, get a potion, and then get the onion. And then we're really wanting our seven cost crystal to upgrade the pan, and then get a pineapple on it and then just have it go pineapple ham. So we haven't even used our health pot. And so really, you don't need to upgrade these bucklers. There's an argument that not upgrading them is better. Alrighty. So let's go ahead, get some stamina. Then we're going to shift the onions around. And then I'm going to get a banana. So we hit all three. Let's get a little bit extra defense. I am going to shift this up. Putting the onion here. And then the onion here. Ooh, it'll be a little bit of a nombo, but it's okay. Do you want to fit that in? Do you want to fit this in? So we get a little bit of a food trigger and get food synergies. I don't think we're going to be using gloves with our pan food bill. So this is a great kind of early game build that I recommend for beginners. What are we missing here? We do need some armor. And so that is what this space is going to be for. Now, any one of these is great. So this is good for the pan. I really like the life bringer for the life gain. And so we do have some armor. And then now we just roll for space. So wanting to get a additional trigger there. So, well, we can actually... Put it over here. 
there is an argument to optimize it. And so for the sake of argument, I'm just not going to do that for the time being. Plus, I don't want to waste your time. It looks like we don't need to optimize. Ooh, we should, probably should have, but that's okay. In your spare time, you can optimize. Ooh, getting a potion rack here is really good. Let me make sure poison's on top. Let's go ahead, go here. All right, now getting a lower carrot to then place this up here. Let's shift this over, shift that over, re-roll, and then re-roll. That's good. That's good. And then I do like a little sand from time to time, and just to add a debuff on the opponent. And so we are trying to tank it past the Guberts, and we make it. Actually beating a Twitch streamer. I'd really love to see that. And then now we're wanting to focus on getting space for the armor. We can even forsake this banana. Shift this over, move that there. The blueberry in, go here, get blueberry. And so we rearrange. We're kind of spinning the whole time. So you don't have to have the most optimal to be effective. However, this is a game where optimization is key. And so we will get in a video on why optimization is key. And so here we go. We have the lovely combo. And so I'm going to save that storage. And then this just gets the distance. Opponent is getting a lot of life. And we are able to get a massive hit with the pan via the crystal to win us the game. And then now, wanting to make sure that we re-optimize everything, we push items into storage, and bump ba -dum, you get to organize it. So thank you for joining me on the journey. And we will get into part two for optimization in the next video.